Hi there and welcome to Mark's Reviews and Tutorials. We uh, bought some, uh, just from China, just off eBay from China, crampons or snow cleats. Uh, these are like little ice spikes that you strap onto your shoes. Uh, we bought um, a couple of different sets. This was the better set as it turned out here with the big um, orange top on them. We also bought a smaller set with uh, less rubber on them. But uh, I'll just show you as we walked around and experimented with them and played with them up in the snow. Uh, and then at the end, I'll uh, give you the report on them, uh, how they fared, whether or not those spikes bent, and all the rest of it. So a bit of a fun day in the snow and a review on these really good We've got some ice cleats. Snow here, it's not deep. We've been in snowshoes earlier in um, deep snow, but now the cleats just clip onto our snow boots. Um, are perfect for this. There's no slipping. On there, no slipping, no sliding. So in this sort of situation here, snowshoes would be clumsy and big and unwielding. So perfect, and I rate them, I've been walking around in these, I got Merrells, rubber sole, really good boots, but on the hard, icy, of course they're slippery. Click the cleats on for the bits of batter, he's soft so it's not now. Excellent, love it. I'll definitely always have some of these. When I'm about to go walking, it's the whole confidence factor. Right? I'm not stressing my shoulders or straining my back or anything. I've just got confidence to, to walk, knowing I'm not going to slip when it gets a bit icy. So, yeah, perfect. Get up here. We're off the beaten track now. See each step. If I press down hard, it's going down a bit deep. But still, it's the slipping factor I'm worried about. If I just keep moving, I'm not slipping down too deep. Certainly not an issue. Now here, in snowshoes, I wouldn't be sinking down, so yeah, it would be easier, less effort. Now you're light enough to stand on top. No, here it's hard enough. It's going perfect. There is no issue. We're slipping. This is out here on fresh virgin snow. I'm loving this. I'm now walking up a steep icy slope and there is no hint of slipping. I've walked a lot in these Merrells in snow before, in Germany and in the States, and in Australia actually. Never ever walked with um, crampons or these ice clip-ons before. When it comes to just walking up slopes, even like 35 degree slopes, there's just no issue, you just walk straight up. Incredible grip. Just like having snowshoes. Um, although even the snowshoes, because it's normally soft snow then, would be softer. So, yep, yeah, loving this. Perfect for the conditions we're walking in. And uh, loving it here. Bit of Aussie bush. Gum trees in the snow. So we're uh, over right beside a toboggan run now and this has had literally hundreds if not thousands of people walking up it pulling toboggans up and we were walking up this earlier and uh, it was slippery as in rubber in the merrells rubber sole boots quite slippery and now um, just total confidence quite a steep hill on an angle and there is just no slipping no movement at all so awesome super impressed and when we get them down and get them clean, we'll see how bent the spikes are, see if they survive. But uh, these um, China cleats are doing wonderful so far. The one observation at this point is that these ones here have just got a black, thin black rubber on them. And they've moved around a bit, they haven't been stable. These with the great big orange, they look a bit crazy, but they've been perfectly stable and locked in place. So. Buy ones with a bit more rubber maybe but now walking downhill on absolutely hard packed thousands literally thousands of people walking on it and it's just easy perfect so here we are at the snow and we've got a 45 degree incline straight up the face of it with cleats without an issue brilliant try down keep it going down the said 45 degree. Daddy! 
no problem. Totally safe, totally secure, great fun. So how do I rate them? Well, just superb. And uh, yeah, I'll be keeping these. The Chinese spikes, blow sets, um, didn't bend the spikes at all. Now you see on the black ones there how the ice was compacted, the, the, the black rubber and the black metal patch, that picked up bark and bits and pieces and it picked up ice, it filled up something shocking. These orange ones, much more open with their spikes, uh, far superior, didn't catch any bark, didn't catch any ice, um, nothing stuck them at all. Whereas these, you know, that's after they've been scraped clean, all of the bark and ice and everything else scraped off. Um, so while they worked good, they weren't as tight on the shoe, didn't hold as well. Uh, and they also um, tended to pick up bits and pieces. So really happy. The major, major difference, and the reason I'd say to be buying these and using these things, um, is just the stress in your back and your shoulders. I didn't realize it, but walking around just with the good snow boots, because uh, the snow was um, just thin and icy, um, there's a real tendency to feel like you were going to slip, um, to feel like something was going to happen. But uh, once we put these on, then there was just zero thought of slipping, and your whole back relaxed, shoulders relaxed, everything else. So it was just fun to walk around rather than being stressed walking on something that was particularly slippery. So deep snow, of course, you go for snow boots, uh, snow shoes, sorry, so that you don't sink in. Uh, but the icy, hard, and thin stuff. Uh, like it was with these guys, just brilliant. Really, really enjoyed it, and they will definitely come with us um, every time we head to the snow.